Okay, this landscape here, the purpose is to attract hummingbirds at the same time deal with this mostly shade canopy of this backyard. Now, when it comes to hummingbird plants, the top three that I recommend are Scarlet Shade, Eastern Columbine, and Spotted Touch Me Not. Because there's too much shade here for Scarlet Sage, the initial focus is on Eastern Columbine and Spotted Touch Me Not. Because this was started in the early summer, right on the bare edge of when the soil temperature changes, Spotted Touch Me Not seedlings, we can transplant in the spring, but not so much in the summer. So because it was on the borderline, what we did is we <clears throat> put a couple Spotted Touch Me Not, this one's still, still green, in pots here. That way, even if it didn't get established over in the landscaping, it still would shoot its seeds in here and get on the property. And that was the goal, because Spot Touch Me Not is an annual. So, <clears throat> once you get established, because it shoots seeds quite a distance, it's likely to, to, to root in and stay in your property. <clears throat> Spotted Touch Me Not can handle full shade and full water. I remember walking through a swamp collecting them, collecting the seeds one time. But uh, it can handle full sun as long as there's enough moisture. So it's pretty much just an idea of uh, getting it on your property to begin with. So that's what we did there. <clears throat> the same time planted a couple here. This one's still green. And a few here. And because this homeowner uh, did a real diligent job in watering these, it was able to get established and our backup wasn't as necessary as we thought it would be. But with this here, got these tall honey locusts casting shade. You got Eastern Red Cedar casting a lot of shade. And you see the general look of around here. There's not a lot of sun. But after we got the spotted touch me knots planted, even though this might not be the place they'll stay because we were working on the different grade, if you saw some other pictures, this area was originally rock and a lot of it. The rock and the dirt was all scraped out and these retaining wall bricks brought in to have it a raised flower bed. What we have here is marked by these three containers. We put spring beauty bulbs, in particular ones that we grew from our nursery that are more fuller pink than than the light pink or white then we took potted and bare root woodland flocks up oh, here's a weed that will spread and be an evergreen ground cover through this area that will bloom second and about the same time then these columbines will bloom across here <clears throat> 